Hello, hello, this is Victoria Rose and I am broadcasting live from a cafe here in Skodra, Albania. And today the question is, is Albania awesome? Well, I hope to show you with my personal observations so you can make up your own mind. Is Albania awesome? Well, first of all, we have to define what awesome actually means. And awesome means some or. Whereas we often use the word awful and to mean something that isn't good. And yet awful is full of or. The English language, how totally amazing is it? My name is Victoria Rose and I am moving into my 10th month of traveling around Europe and Turkey. I am on a mission. I want to show those who are on a pension, women who are on a pension in Australia, indeed anywhere around the world, that you can travel on a pension. So let's have a look at my three realizations or observations about my time here in Skodra, Albania. So the first one is, I'm going to talk about the 80-20 rule. So the 80-20 rule, if you haven't heard of it, is that you wear in your wardrobe, let's talk about shoes. So in your wardrobe, you wear only 20% of your shoes, 80% of the time. And if you're like me, you've had shoes in your wardrobe that you may have worn once or twice, but they're still in your wardrobe. Oh, Enza, thank you so much for that comment. Yes, I do hope you get to listen to my live stream. Now, I am out and about in a cafe, and right now, ah, you might be able to hear the drums. The drums have just stopped. What the drums are, are normally younger children who are walking around and they're just banging a drum. And when they bang that drum and they look at you, uh, they're normally gypsies, not all the time, but then please give them some money, honey, and they can be all ages. So let's now go back to my first point. Oh, by the way, I didn't bring my heart with me, so here's the heart. <laughs> Not a very good heart, but here's the heart to you all. And thank you, Replay viewers, for watching my live stream today. So the 80-20 rule, how does that apply? So number one, the 80-20 rule applies, I have observed, of the younger generations here, and by the way, there are a lot of young people here in Skodra, 80% of the women are just beautiful. 20% of the men are just beautiful. <laughs> now, I haven't gone around and, and done the stats, but I have done it the best I can. So this explains something that happened when I first landed here. I noticed how often the young women would take photos of themselves, whether it's selfies or getting their friends to take photos of themselves on their mobile phone. And oh my gosh, it was like a professional photo shoot. The foot was tilted, the head, the hair, and a lot of effort went into having these photos taken of themselves. And I thought, oh my gosh, total obsession with our beauty. And now that I've been here for three weeks, I can understand what the issue might be. I am taking a gigantic leap here. And so what I think the issue is, no other country that I've been in, now we're talking Italy, Croatia, Turkey, uh, France, Spain, no other country have has anyone asked me very quietly, can you help me immigrate to Australia? Or can you help me 
get out of this country. And that's happened now five times here in Skodra. And I can see why, because these guys can not leave. For a start, there's the monetary cost of actually taking that bus because you can't get a train out of Albania. You either fly or you take a bus. And then, so there's getting a passport, there's having the money to do it. And I had one of those young persons, a young woman, when I said to her I'd spent three months in Turkey, she went, oh, going to Turkey is my dream. So my response, not to her, but internally, is, well, just jump on a bus. It's just down there. But the issue is that they cannot just jump on a bus because of what I've mentioned. So there are a heap of young men that don't have work. So they sit around in uh, cafes drinking coffee or or raki. Uh, all day and so you can walk past and the cafe is full of men I don't know where the young women are probably home with mum perhaps not (laughs) but because there's nothing here for them and they do get employment benefit or unemployment benefit but it's about 25 euro the aged pension here is 100 euro a month so there it's a very complex environment here so that's the first point the first point is how beautiful uh, the young women are and of course the reason why they're taking those selfies is one day someone will notice them it could be a talent scout from Hollywood who knows it could be a tourist that sees their image on Facebook or as they're having their photo taken and falls madly in love with them to take them away. So who knows? Oh look, we've got our little drummer person. Here he is, oh there he is. Oh no, he's going away. (laughs) Oh, he's very shy. He doesn't want me to uh, put him live here and that's fair enough too. So that's the first point. Now the second point is the language. Very few people here speak English and if they do speak English it's really really broken and the comprehension is exceedingly low. So when we look at the communication uh, it's difficult to do that here in Albania. The Albanian language is complicated. I mean to even say hello, I cannot get my head around how to even say hello. So I walked into my favorite cafe two days ago and there was this uh, Albanian male there with two or three women around and I said to the white persons and to whomever was listening, good morning and he looked at me and he said good morning in Albanian and he said Albanian and I said I went up to him I must have been having a bad morning I leant over the table and I said listen here you not that you could understand a word about this not one word I said in the last nine months I have been to Italy Croatia Turkey France, Spain, and now Albania. There's no way that I can learn all those languages. And to learn how to say good morning in Albanian, forget it. (laughs) He looked at me in total astonishment. This mad woman, where could she be from? (laughs) So let's get back to the second point, which is the language. And the language thing is the... um, how it works whichever country I've been in I've had multiple people say I can say it in French if I say it in English it is not the same and so that's a valid point and so here's what happens in Albania when they don't understand what you just said and of course they don't even those who have a reasonable grasp of the English language uh, so uh, again I have noted this elsewhere but so I've just said something and they'll look at you with that Croatian look on their face so a stern look and they go what 
so because and I had that all day every single day where they're looking at you and going what and it took me a little while to get used to that what Be especially combined with the look because it's a stern look it's them wanting to understand what it is that you just said so, oh my gosh so it's as a foreigner getting used to what life is like here so that's my second point so the first point was the high percentage of very beautiful young women here and and why they take so much effort possibly with having their photo taken the second point was the language barrier it's really huge here and who's going to go ahead and learn Albanian Turkish is bad enough and then the third point is and I had mentioned this in one of my posts this is a place a city of extremes not a lot of money about even so is there the wedding shops the gowns in the wedding in in the wedding shops boutiques are huge I mean they're beautiful and a big price tag the beautiful dresses that you'll see in the shops a big price tag and uh, the cars 60% at least of the cars here in Albania are Mercedes now I've had different reasons why that is the case some have said oh it's they're, they're stolen mm, not sure about that one another one has been that they're really really old cars and so they're very very cheap there when they're really really old cars 15 to 20 years old many of them look really well cared for and don't look that old but who knows and another theory has been that there um, uh, people do have money here because they grow drugs and so they can afford to buy those things from drug money oh and another point of view was well Albanians don't travel much and I can see why because how can you travel when you don't speak English or the language now Italians good here there's a huge I think I have read 50% of the population are Italians so if you speak Italian you'd be fine here so you'd go to Italy but if you didn't have a grasp of any other language or English how can you travel so that's been my observation so far here in Skodra in Albania should you visit there are lots of reasons why you might like to visit this country has only been open to the public since 1919 as you walk around the streets there are a lot of uh, ever there's a lot of evidence of the wars that have raged here and the damage is still here but Albania are rebuilding and the new things that they're building and renovating the old things to bring back the past as well because they well know that when tourists visit they really don't want to see modern buildings they want to see what the real the authentic Albania so there you have it uh, thank you so much for uh, watching my live stream from Skoda, Skodra, Skodra, I'll get it right one day. The day I leave, I'll get it right. I am leaving next Thursday, moving on to my next adventure. And thank you for joining me. Please uh, like my page, Over 60 Still Fabulous, and uh, follow me. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I am living the dream. I really am. And I want to show you how you can too. Bye.